Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP. In this video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Online versus SharePoint on premises. In my previous video, I have explained what is SharePoint, the basic that we should know when we start learning SharePoint. Now we will discuss about SharePoint Online versus SharePoint on premises because these are the two ways that we can access SharePoint in uh, in in your organization so basically in this video we will discuss the difference between your sharepoint online and and on premises as an as an organization if you want to implement sharepoint then you should know whether you should go for sharepoint online office 365 or you should go for sharepoint on premises versions like sharepoint 2019 sharepoint 2016 or SharePoint 2013. Well, there are a lot of uh, things that to consider based on the implementation scenario. Like for example, if you are previously or your organization is previously using SharePoint or you are going to implement SharePoint newly in your organization. Microsoft is providing a lot of benefits in SharePoint Online Office 365 compared to the on-premises versions. But still, there are a lot of organizations and uh, who are not ready to move completely to the SharePoint online environment or completely they are not agree to use the cloud version of SharePoint. Some companies do not want to move their SharePoint on-premises data to the cloud because of the security related restrictions in the organization. Also, some of the organizations do not want to move to the cloud because the existing solution which uh, are working fine in their existing environments might not be work as expected in the SharePoint online versions. Because if you are using SharePoint on-premises on and if you are using SharePoint custom solutions, then those codes will not be supported in the SharePoint online versions. Now, let us uh, see few factors that we should we need to consider uh, for for the SharePoint online or SharePoint on-premises stuff. Now one thing is the cost to maintain the SharePoint farm. In case of SharePoint on-premises version, your organization will be fully responsible for building, configuring, and managing your SharePoint farm or your SharePoint environment. The whole SharePoint server is within your corporate network and there is a cost associated with the hardware, software and the licensing etc. In this case, you need an IT team or a SharePoint team to maintain the SharePoint servers, which includes your regular updates, the patches, maybe it is update to the SharePoint or maybe the update to the Windows platform as well. So in this case, if your SharePoint farm increases, or if, if it is a large farm, then you require more resources to maintain the SharePoint servers, which will ultimately increase the cost as well. But in the other hand, if you are using SharePoint Online, which is a part of your Office 365 or the Microsoft Cloud, is fully maintained by the SharePoint or by the Microsoft team. Users can just access all the services online without any headache of maintaining anything on the premises or in their environment. So there will not, will not be any headache of uh, on-premises or server maintenance patching or update activities. The cloud service Office 365 is available on a subscription-based model from the Microsoft. So users can opt for monthly or annual plans and it has various plans based on the usage. It has plans for personal, home, business, and students also. A user can subscribe according to their requirement and they can access the services from anywhere, any devices with just an internet connection and the browser. Office 365 is available from uh, June 2011 and it, ha it provides other services like your office applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, Access, all these things. Apart from that, also it provides services like OneDrive for Business, Exchange Online, Skype for Business, Microsoft Teams, Yammer, all these things are also provided. The second point is the data storage. We should know as an organization where our data is storing. A lot of, a lot of companies ask this question, how secure my data is? Uh, 
There are companies who do not want to move their data to the cloud because of the legal and the compliance issues uh, are set by the company or by the organization itself. And these companies do not have any option other than going for the SharePoint on-premises versions because in the SharePoint online, the data will be stored in the Microsoft data centers or in the cloud. With saying this, Microsoft has implemented a lot of securities in the cloud as well as it has the highest number of certificates um, compared to the cloud, any other cloud providers. That means in your Microsoft data center, your data is secure and it, is, it has industry specific security standards that Microsoft has followed. Next thing is the SharePoint migration. If any organization which already using a SharePoint on-premises version, for example, let's say you are using the MOS 2007 version or SharePoint uh, 2010 version or SharePoint 2013 version, then your, uh, you got little afraid to migrate this because all your existing code is working fine. Maybe there will be certain third-party component also which are uh, working perfectly. Now, if you want to migrate those things to SharePoint online, then the first question is, all these things are not supported as it is. So that time uh, you will have a question whether all my functionality will work as it is or not. But if you are migrating from on-premises to on-premises, on for example, from SharePoint 2010 to SharePoint 2013, then most of the works, most of the code will work fine because you will be having the same SharePoint uh, uh, server side code if you are using. But uh, but if you are uh, having a newer version, let's say you are upgrading, as I said, it will be supported. Most of the things will be supported. If you are using SharePoint custom solutions or the server set, which, which we usually use when we go for a SharePoint on-premises version, then straightforward, the SharePoint server set code is not supported in the, online, in the SharePoint online. That means either you have to redevelop your work or uh, by using any kind of uh, client side technologies like your uh, SharePoint apps or SPFX development, anything which will use the client side technologies rather the server side code. But in case of your SharePoint on premises to online migration, it requires really more planning and effort. But compared to your SharePoint on premises to on premises migration, but one thing we have to remember that if you are using SharePoint online versions, then we do not need to migrate because SharePoint online, whatever the new versions, everything will come automatically. We really, we really do not need to migrate to any other SharePoint online version. But if you are using SharePoint on-premises, let's say there is a, if you are using SharePoint 2010, then at some point of time, you have to migrate to a newer version because you will not have an option when Microsoft will will stop the support. Then in those cases, you have to migrate. Next thing is the new feature availability. In case of Office 365 or SharePoint Online, the SLA with 99.9% .9 availability, almost no downtime. But if you are using SharePoint on-premises, it depends on your internal team capabilities, how much time it, your server will be up. Then the availability. The availability, if you'll see, uh, as I said, it will be uh, uh, the new feature we are talking about. So in case of Office 365, the new features will come automatically because Microsoft will release those features. But if these features to come to your on-premises environment, it will actually require time. And then the speed. In case of SharePoint on-premises, the speed of your SharePoint sites depends on your local infrastructure. But in case of SharePoint Online, it depends on the legal, uh, on the global network of the data centers, which provides actually low uh, latency and high bandwidth. In case of SharePoint on-premises, if your user base increases, then you need to put additional servers, which also cost you additional hardware cost and software cost, as well as the licensing required for the SharePoint. But in SharePoint Online, you just take additional licenses for those users. One of the advantages that you are going to get if you are using SharePoint on-premises is that you can run your SharePoint server-side code, which is totally restricted on SharePoint Online. 
but there is always the client side code are available which you can use on SharePoint online. At the same time, in SharePoint uh, on premises, you can use your own Active Directory for authentication. Now the next go is hybrid feature because lot of companies do not want to move their data to the SharePoint uh, online version. So Microsoft is coming up with the hybrid feature which you can use on SharePoint 2016 where part of the things you can put or it should be in your SharePoint um, on premises and some of the data or you can take into your SharePoint online. So in those cases you can have in case of the hybrid model your data will be on the on-premises server, but you can still take the benefit of Office 365 features. For example, the cloud uh, hybrid search feature. Uh, in this case, uh, you will be getting the documents from your on-premises as well as your from your on online or your Office 365. So before uh, selecting whether you should go for SharePoint online or SharePoint on-premises version, you have to uh, check this kind of factors, what level of control, uh, the segregation is required for your data in your environment, what type of service level agreements that are in place in your SharePoint organization. Also, do you have the internal resources needed to support your environment? For example, if you have a startup, you are, you are using or you have less number of employees, do you have a person or do you have the team who can actually uh, maintain your SharePoint farm? At the same time, uh, what type of customization and the custom code uh, that you want to be supported in your environment. So these kind of things are required uh, to consider before you are selecting SharePoint online or the SharePoint on-premises version. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to our channel and these are the social networks and the site URLs, you can follow that. If you, if you will subscribe to our channel, you will get updates regularly. We are keeping videos regularly. We are updating the videos and you will get videos on Microsoft technologies like SharePoint, Power Apps, Flow or Power Automate, Power BI. Everything will get it at one place. I have also written an article on this. So I'll put the URL in the description box. As well as if you want to learn SharePoint, uh, we have some SharePoint training courses. I will put uh, those uh, training courses URLs with some good discount on that in the description box. Have a nice day.